I'm going to ask a, a question that all musicians hate to get. Mm. And this is my this is How my big one. is your penis? No. Oh, okay. I know that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this is my one usual interview question, and I apologize in advance. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How would you define your band's musical style? Damn it! Oh, oh, damn it! it. <laughs> Come on! I this question. I yes. so didn't see it coming. <laughs> Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local and not-so-local music scene and the people that make it. And uh, my guests today are a sci-fi rock trio, each with backstories and a mission reminiscent of Coheed and Cambria, um, that officially launched just over a year ago. I first saw them at the Mastiff pre-release show at uh, The Space, which I did a review of. You can check that out when you're done watching this. Going, going to one of their shows is, and I quote, like riding on the back of an extremely comfortable giant penguin and watching a thunderstorm meteor shower from atop the highest room in the tallest tower. Please welcome to the channel, the amazing crew, Shadow of the Moon. Say hi, guys. Hi. What's up? up? Listen, uh, I'm really sorry. I have a really important call i got to take. I'll be right back. Okay. I promise I'll be right back. I'll be All right, right man. We'll, oh, whiskey. We'll be waiting. How professional is that? I know. Well, anyway, they, they brought me a sticker, which is really cool. Uh, I'm sure we'll figure out... What it means? It's a band or it's a group logo or something, but I like it. I'll put a you know proper picture on on screen. Just don't put it in sunlight. Okay, yeah, you don't want to see what happens. Oh. <laughs> Carry on. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm I'm worried because it's you know Vegas. <laughs> it's a lot of sun. That's the oh hey, you're back. Uh, I'm really sorry about that. I, I swear. It's okay. The, the boss called Freddie. Oh. Okay. The boss called. What okay. you said, we we're not allowed not to answer when the boss calls. I uh, know. I get it. He has some. He has some really important things that we're not supposed to talk about. So I just want, just real quick, can we go over that? Real yeah, quick? yeah, yeah. So we're, there's some things we're not allowed to say. Some words, just specific words. Okay. okay. So uh, the words we're not allowed to talk about is the moon. Yeah. Okay. The yeah. Gaia. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Vagina. All right. That's you. Uh, but, oh, oh yeah. Man. He, yeah. He Did knows. Sorry. Anyway. Black Knight satellite. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Nine yeah. Eleven. What's wrong? With- Reptiles. Reptilians. Well, now nah, hang on a second. Yeah. Kobe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Neil Armstrong. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, fine. Remote control anal beads. <sighs> I'll see you again. Um, I'll take a nap off my the moon landing. No, no well, moon landing. Well, why not? That's just fine. Freddie said it. We do it. Roswell. Mm. We're not allowed to talk about Las Vegas at all. What are we doing here? Well, what about the? This is going to be an interesting interview. Inner mm-hmm. Earth. And Kevin. No, we can't talk about Kevin. Oh, we man. can't talk about Kevin? Don't bring up Kevin. I'm sorry. Um, it came from the top, Bills. I'm sorry. Okay. But I think, Andy, I think I'm we're, we're doing Do you know what? Whiskey. Did you get a sticker? I did, as a matter of fact. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. We uh, we talked briefly about, like, don't put it in the sunlight, apparently. Or... Yeah, you don't yeah. want to put it in oh, the sunlight. Hold that for me. Yeah, sure. Thanks. Thank appreciate it. Okay. Well, hey, thanks. But you know what? I'm professional. We're going to make this work, uh, even with... Uh, a laundry list of things. Yeah, it is. And um, so, welcome to room six. Salud. 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 We got a little bit of Caribbean Let's black rum Words and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Mm. Woo. That is nice. AC. Wait for it. Oh, my God. Whoa. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Developing, huh? Mm. Warming. That's what was that like again? It. That's really good. <laughs> Hog Bay Caribbean black rum. It's a nice style. <laughs> and... Uh, yeah, that reminds me of my childhood. It is. Uh, it, it, it should only be a cold shot. No, <laughs> you don't trust me because the first time I tasted it, it was warm, and I'm like, okay, picture it cold, picture it cold, <laughs> because just like if with whiskey, because whiskey, whiskey. Hey, hey. Speaking of whiskey, hey, speaking hey, of whiskey. Speaking of room six whiskey. This just in, you can show your support for Room 6 by going to room6.shop after this video. We have tons of merch, including discounted cold weather merch and more. Whatever you need to show your support for local music and Room 6 is there, from shirts to hoodies to mugs to posters to stickers. Whether showing off that you're a patron on our Patreon page with our Two Brains One Bottle shirt, or reminding people to just be amazing, room6.shop has what you need to be a friend of the channel. Thanks for supporting Room 6. If you have whiskey on the rocks, like me, uh, it mutes a lot of the high and the low notes. 
Yeah. That mm -hmm. sometimes you don't it's like, like. It's like adding EQ to your rock album. Right. <laughs> more of a limiter. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, so. like, let me make that more mid. terrible exactly. high. Exactly. It's sizzling, you know? So, right on. Well, for those of you that don't know Shatter the... Shut your mouth! This act. Exactly. Thank you. <laughs> go ahead and introduce yourselves and uh, tell them what you do in, in the band. Let's start over here. Hi. My name is Jax Ransom. I play bass guitar and vocalists for Shatter the Moon. Fun stuff. You should check it out sometime. Shatter the what? Shatter the Moon. You're not supposed to Sorry, say what? Shat... Oh, we're not... Oh, jeez. <laughs> jeez. We can't take, take you anywhere. <laughs> Shatter Freddy, the... Freddy, Freddy, it was a one shot... One time... It was a one time mistake. Oh, no, no, no. This is so wrong. Sorry. Can you edit that out? Sorry. I'll, I'll do my best. We'll, I'll do we'll, my worry, best. About yeah, yeah. we'll worry about it post. Right. Shatter the... Boom. Exactly correct. Exactly correct. <clears throat> my name is Hot Whiskey. I come from the former USSR, but I'm here now. I'm the drummer. I got the heavy hand, and I lead this crazy crew. I not gotta say the uh, the accent, the American accent, is really heavy well drinking. Done. Let me explain that. Heavy. Oh, I moved out of the USSR when I was one years old because I had a very. Uh, they, they knew I was. You special. were moved. <laughs> yes, my parents were American, but they lived there mm -hmm. as ambassadors to the former Soviet Union, and then we left. Mm. So I, I, that's why I have an American accent. I thought you said you got kicked out. Which one is it, dude? We're Which one is to, it? We're not supposed to talk about that. Sorry. Okay. okay. Either way, okay. I am the drummer. Next! Oh. My name is Riff. I am the guitarist for Shat the Moon. What? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Shatter the Moon. Sh no, you can't Shatter see the, the thing moon. in the, the air. Shatter thing. the thing in the sky. Yes. Yeah, uh, there Lunar was, was okay, right? Shatter Luna. Oh, Lunar Orb. Luna, I like Luna. this. I like you, you find it. Luna Shack. I play guitar. <laughs> <laughs> I play guitar. He plays guitar. Either way. Either cool. way. Right on. Well, welcome, welcome. And I I just want to thank you for coming on the, the, the show. Um, I know that you're kind of busy with various things you got going on. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm spreading the word. Yeah. I had a quick question. What's, um, what's behind G21? What's the story behind that? Are you... Is he cleared? You cleared to talk about this? I mean... I... I say he's cleared. Okay. Positive? I'm gonna... Riff? I, I, I mean, I can make some calls, but I think we're just gonna go with it. Alright, let's because go Because the people it. need to know. They, they got... Well, G21 is important. It is really important. The people need to know. You out there need to know. Go ahead. Tell them. G21 is a secret section of the government. It's kind of like Men in Black. And, uh, oh, not lame. Yeah, only not lame. <laughs> you put some respect on. <laughs> you know, you know. Hey, they're, they're, good they're, they're good guys. They're good guys. You put some respect they're on just... Tommy Lee Jones' name. <laughs> they're good guys over there, but they're not doing the Lord's work like we are. Wow. Uh, Lord Wait, S's work. I was going to say. Sorry, Lord S. Sorry, Lord S. Oh. And they, I mean, they're too uptight anyway, those guys. Okay. So, so what you're saying is I should probably stop talking about G21 right now. Well, if you, if you want to live. Okay. I, we can call off the, the choppers and... They'll be gone in a little bit. <laughs> I handle that department, by the way. So. Oh, oh, I'd appreciate it. At least till the interview's over. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Or, gotcha. We can't off, guarantee right? you what's going to happen to you or your family after this. Hey, we had a good run. So. Yeah. Fun times. Okay. The important thing is I remembered to rock today. Yes, you did. And that's really the important thing. We are here to spread the news of the guy through rock. Can't Wait, talk you can't about talk about... Oh, oh, shit. Words? The news of... Uh, words and stuff. Jesus, we're so bad at this. Why I, did they hide? Why are this we is why I, I put a thing at the beginning of each interview so I don't have to censor stuff out. I don't have to put a beep or, <laughs> you know, whatever. And and I'm sure future Josh is hating, can you hating just, this like, right now. Freddy? Can we just redact him? Just redact. Just redact, this. Just redact wow. everything. No. We're about to put a big black bar. Right? <laughs> I'd be standing here. I'd be like, you know, three-fourths of a black flag yeah. <laughs> logo. <laughs> mm. It looks so, good on you. <laughs> anywho. Uh, By the way, have you gotten a sticker? I have, as a matter of fact. But ooh, what's this? This is different. No, it's the same. Oh, okay. Well, you I know just what? watched you have lots of stickers. I, I appreciate it's you. It's important to spread the word. Not, entity. Do a little bit of, there we go. There a little you, bit of there you go. Yeah, yeah. Join entity now. Well, what is entity? Entity is the group. Well, how would you describe it? Entity is the association inside of G twenty one that protects the citizens. From themselves, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and from a lot of things on that list that and we can't talk about. Yeah. The contractors. And the contractors. Mm -hmm. That's what yeah. Contractors. Yes. 
You okay. should join it. It's a good. It's a good. We should know, we have fun. I don't know if I'm cleared. Uh, he cleared you. We'll, 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 I'll make some calls. Okay. You'll be fine. So, Jax. Yeah. Um, actually, before I get into individual little questions here, mm-hmm. some general questions. Let's talk music. If we can talk music, is that clear? Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Let's talk earliest That's music. Allowed. Earliest musical influence. What is that first time you're like, I want to do that? Whether it was a particular song or an artist or you know, a genre of music. What what was that moment you're like, I'm gonna try this twisted terrible road. The headlining act of Warp Tour 2016 was Under Oath. They were played uh-huh. songs off of their Define the Great Line and their Only Chasing Safety album. And when I saw Spencer up there, I'm like, I need that in my life. I need to do that. Whatever that is up there. And I've been going ever since. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's good you have that moment. And it's not just, I was at some bar. You know, right. that you... <laughs> well, unfortunately, it also it sets a high bar for you. Because now you're like, I want the festival audience. I want the that oh. wave of... <sighs> yeah. It was, yeah. And now you get it. I mean, uh, when they're at the space, their set was amazing. And... Literally, I felt bad for any act that followed you, including Mastiff. Although Mastiff, you know, every, every act managed to hold it down. But we agree. I mean, we feel bad for <laughs> every act that ever follows us. I mean, you That's got true. choreographed lighting. What the heck? We do. We do. Thanks to Freddie. Freddie puts in a lot of work. Post, mm. uh, you know, in between shows and things. I mean, he's a, an AI, so it's probably easy for yeah, us. I don't, I don't know. We're not sure exactly. Yeah, I'm both. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Um, so then from. Oh, no, sorry, next. Who wants to go next? Earliest musical influence. Oh, um, for me, <clears throat> as far as like getting in, I guess you'd say, like heavy music, the song that actually literally put me like in that, I guess, in that lane to go into there was actually when I first heard uh, Stain's Mud Shovel. Oh, wow. And I, like, because back in the day, um, I actually yes. used to... Why is he in the band? Go ahead. Oh, I'm don't, don't, don't even don't start with me. Don't yuck someone's young. Don't even yuck someone's young. Don't even start with me. Anyway, so like, that kind of got me interested in heavy music, where I was like, oh, this is really cool. And then, because um, I grew up on R&B and rap. And then eventually, like, I played... <laughs> so, to, and then, right, Stain. <laughs> right, well, it kind of, like, well, led up you know, that. Because yeah. um, yeah. I started out with cello, and then I got intrigued with guitar, and then I just... What? Cello? Was, yeah. I can't play cello, can you? I cannot. Yeah, I tried. I cannot get, get it to stop buzzing. So, <laughs> good on you, man. Yeah. That's fantastic. It's been a long time. It is amazing how many people I've had in here that play an instrument, no matter what the instrument is, they're always like, oh yeah, I started on some classical music, like violin or viola or yeah. cello or or uh, even just like piano, but now they're a drummer. Right. So, <laughs> music lessons matter, even if you hate it. Was that a shot? Shots fired. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, this was a shot. Oh, you're right. Yes. So, By the way, can we get more of those? Uh, Nothing to run, man. We'll we'll get there. We'll, we'll, get there. we'll have a boost break soon. Right. Okay, I know I know what's important to my guests. <laughs> so, all right then. And you, hot. That's me. Hot. Uh, so, nineteen ninety eight, Ozfest, twelve noon. I was there early. I went Man's there at the time. <laughs> I went there early. Okay. Because I had to see Ugly Kid Joe. Do you remember Ugly Kid Joe? Yeah, Puddle of Mud too. They were um, they, they, yeah. Ugly Kid well, Joe. I hate everything. Yeah, they were about you. pre Puddle of Mud, but yes, no, very I, very similar. For some reason, I love them together. They have, in my like, head. They have the same vibe. Yeah, absolutely. I know. but yeah, I, everything I, about you. I hate everything about you. I, I was, and I hated everything about everybody. And I was yeah, like, I had to be there at noon in 1998. Well, the thing that when that song came out, it, it, the timing was good for it to be a hit because it was different, mm-hmm. but it was also, you know, not, it wasn't too crazy. Right. It was familiar, but it was like, yeah, this is. I hate everything about you. Mm-hmm. And it was just, just whiny enough. Just whiny enough. <laughs> just whiny enough. Yeah. I... Yeah. That's all we're going to do. Yeah, yeah. Copyright. Anyway. <laughs> we got we to gotta hide it behind. Like, See, I got my own list of things m- I can't say. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, you don't mess with a mouse. But let anyway. me tell you about <laughs> Ozfest in 1998. Okay. Preach, brother. Uh, all I remember is I've seen Ugly, ugly Kid Joe, then I got drunk, and I don't remember the rest of it. But uh, it, was, it, was, it, was worth the, it was worth the trip. And ever since then, like, my goal in life is to open a festival at 12 noon where nobody's watching except some weird dude in the audience who's eventually going to spread the word about Ugly Kid Joe. Ugly Kid Joe. You're late. I'm late to tell you. <laughs> that? What's that? Are we doing that? Turns out Someday. that that's your uh, side quest. 
Ah, yeah, that sounds fun. Oh, hey, is that a cave? <laughs> Wait, why up. is there a merchant in the cave? Yes. Who, who are you selling to? Yes. <laughs> T-shirt, fifteen dollars. Like, why are you here? <laughs> uh, is that boss music? Anyway, <laughs> who's the um, the lovely looking lady behind the camera right now? I'd like to know more about her. No, that? you don't. No, you don't. Don't don't answer that. He's fine. That. It's not your wife, is it? No, okay. no, good, perfect. We we don't. That's. I can't say, it because that is someone who's not supposed to be here. Oh, oh. And you know you're not supposed to be here. Similar to us, there's people that aren't supposed to be here, like us. Right. Go back to your cage. Uh, go back to your room. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. You were you were talking. You don't want that hurtful. I'm sure I've had that version before. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jax. Yes. Um, I heard you were also in a side. Like you also were in another group called Stereo Glass with with uh, Riff over here. Oh yeah, yeah. Before uh, Riff and I joined Entity. So yeah. that's not a thing anymore. No. Oh no, okay. No, that's not. Okay. Listen, everybody's got to start somewhere. No, no, I agree. Yeah. It looked like a good concept. It was, it was fun times. I'm curious. You know. what, did, what did you like about that concept? Well, it had a lovely thing in front. No, just kidding. Oh, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> See, that's how I think. Yes. I like the way you think. Um, but all seriousness, though, we're coming up on your wedding anniversary, aren't we? Yes, we are. Someone got married on Halloween. Fun stuff. Poser. Mm -hmm. I'm just kidding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saw the crow. <laughs> <laughs> ah, fond memories of the crow. R.I.P. Rip Brendan. Anyway, last thing for you. Before we get into these other ne'er do wells, can we give a shout out to Aunt Jenny? Aunt Jenny. Yes. Yeah, shout out to Aunt Jenny. Aunt Jenny. From... Aunt Jenny blows this guy up on social media all the time. <laughs> Thank you. Always talking <clears throat> about it. Yes, I always respect that when someone's like, you don't. You don't make it happen. She's just like, yeah, yeah. very supportive. Nice. Nice. Awesome. Yeah. All right, um, Riff. Yes, you're a fellow Niners fan, indeed. Red and gold to your old yeah, baby. Absolutely. This is the year, right? <laughs> Question mark. Yeah, we. <laughs> it's never. Team. <laughs> I, I can't remember the last time I watched a game. To be honest, I, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm such a a, a Niehard fan. <laughs> oh, gotcha. No, I love the game. I, I yeah, no. I, my problem is that Sundays now, I'm live streaming a showcase somewhere, you know? Uh, so I'm, I'm doing a thing, and no one else in the house is really interested, so there's no point in DVRing it. Uh, yeah, so, gotcha. anyway, mm -hmm. I still feel bad for Alex Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Six offensive coordinators in five seasons? What the hell? That just sucks. <laughs> but I digress. Man, that was a long time ago. Yes. Yep. Let's talk... Talk about weird timelines. Let's, All talk, right. let's talk Crash Kit. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. That's... Taking it back. You want to go timeline back in the right. day? I have been called the next Nardwar. Yeah. <laughs> no, that was a, it was a fun project. It was like, we got really busy with that project. Like, it was, I think, it was actually kind of interesting, because I remember me and my drummer at the time, we ended up finding our singer on Craigslist, mm -hmm. and then eventually Zach, like, he got done with one of his Who? projects uh, with Crash Kit. Who? What do you mean? Who? 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 Zach? Who? 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 Uh, sorry. What's his name? Jax. There you go. Oh no! You gotta, you gotta. One of them. You gotta jump, jump for suicide. <laughs> <laughs> We're not supposed to tell our real names. Only our pseudonyms. <laughs> what are you talking about? Is all your real names? Uh, yes, they are. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's on the license. Well, we recruited Jax after he got done with a different project he was in, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. eventually had a buddy of mine. We went. I went to high school with. Actually, played bass with us. And then we were just playing show after show after show. It's a great name, too. Yeah, it was cool. It was random. I think it was because our singer's uh, husband was like, he, something in the medical field or whatever, and she just had him just pop out. I'm like, that's it? Perfect. And then we just ran with it. Is there a history behind uh, the, the name Soma? Soma? Yeah. Last name? Soma? Mm, no. No? It's, okay. a great, it's a great Smashing Pumpkins track. Right. Yeah. Well, but Isn't that your last name, Riff? No. I thought it was Soma. 
All right. Rich oh. doesn't have a last name. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, like I, I, I apologize. <laughs> I will have a word out. with um, my research, research department. Yeah, yeah. That's behind the camera. Yeah. Yeah. We, we see you. Yeah. Is so. that the one from the cage? I mean, the room. Room, that room. room six upstairs. Sorry. Yeah, well, no, that's, that. that's actually room five. Oh. Ooh, yeah, gotcha. I'm talking about room five. So hot whiskey. That's me. I can't. I can't help but say it like that. I'm sorry. That's hot. okay. Hot. That, that's how you say it. Hot. 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 I'm just kidding. Yes. Hot whiskey, which sounds. Terrible, <laughs> unless it's a toddy. Um, <laughs> Absolutely. That's by the way. That's what I have right now. Yes. Can so you remedy that? Oh what? <laughs> oh. What? You're also the VP of Good Times at uh, Las Vegas Bagpipes, right? Well, you know, everybody's got to have a day job. You yeah. Know how that goes. Uh, <clears throat> speaking the truth isn't cheap, and sometimes you got to start from the bottom. Like okay, that, Drake. Speaking that, you got to like you know you got to grab the balls of of something. Please, work your way please, up. Please want to grab the tape to myself. I mean, I, mean, I don't want to literally do it, but <clears throat> anyway, uh, I also play other instruments, and uh, you know, sometimes like the I play. Well, yeah, I mean, I guess you could count that as an instrument, I suppose. When you're uh, sober, well, yeah, when I'm sober, it's rough. There you go. There you go. <laughs> but uh, yes, I also do play the bagpipes. Uh, unfortunately, for most of those who listen. And, uh, yeah, it's my day job. It's how I raise money. There's for nothing wrong to with spread the word. There's nothing wrong with bagpipes. If it's outdoors and at, in the afternoon, <laughs> that's the only acceptable time. If it's in the morning, at night, indoors, mm. next to somebody within forty yards. I, I assume you've at seen a Walmart. The yeah. I assume you've seen the Darth Vader ride, unicycle re- riding with the flaming bagpipes. Unfortunately, yes, I have seen. I wonder how the flames happened. Well, I can Without, it, but I ruined. refused. Okay, fine. So, uh, <laughs> New York to Las Vegas, huh? Uh, well, okay. Former USSR. Right. Then to New York. Right. Because I had to go through Ellis Island. Right. All I could find was New York. And then to Vegas. That is correct. Yes. Okay. So, yes. I spent most of my younger years in New York learning the trade of... Hitting uh, things. Hitting things. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, Vegas, uh, Vegas is a great place. You know why? Do tell. Because people will listen to any nonsense you have to tell them here. They are great for that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, we are... Great street. We are the... <laughs> Vocalization of that nonsense. It's a good way to put it. Yes. Yeah. yes. There's your tagline. <laughs> Shatter the the vocalization for nonsense. Absolutely. Yeah, I love Absolutely. that. You can use that. T-shirt. 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 Let T-shirt. T-shirt. Um, write that down. So <laughs> get that, Freddie. Freddie. Freddie's got it. You're right. Freddie's got it. All right. Um, He's watching. This is interesting. I, I, I was surprised to find this. You you went through electric shocks for charity. Oh oh Jesus. You went, you went deep. You went deep. How are you finding all this information? Freddy, get on this, man. We're all supposed right. to be ghosts here. If it's out there. Let me explain. Find it. Let me explain. What you saw in public was not actually what was happening. I mean, it happened. But what I mean is, that was not what it was actually for. Okay. I was under deep training to resist electric shock uh, because there's a chance that the contractors mm-hmm. will kidnap me or any of us, and we have to be prepared in case they torture us to try to get information out of us. That's what I was doing. That's, I promise you. That's it's a standard entity procedure. You can go see that shock video at uh, channelrant.com slash something or other. I don't know. Slash which. something or other. Yeah, it's out there. Somewhere. Right on. Well, hey, uh, gentlemen and others, we're going to take a quick booze break because some of us need more truth booze. serum. Hey. Absolutely. Booze break. We're back. Everybody uh, topped up here? Woo! Mm-hmm. And I want to talk, uh, you have, um, among your other things you're doing, you have some shows coming up, right? I'm not sure whether, th- th- these shows hopefully are going to be... We call them abductions. <laughs> Classified. <laughs> Auditory <laughs> abductions. <laughs> exactly correct. Right on. So you have, you're playing um, at Soul Belly Barbecue, which if you're, you know, if you're room sixer, you know I'm there every Sunday as much as possible to uh, live stream a, uh, mm-hmm. a songwriter showcase. You've heard about Soul Belly's Barbecue. It's an awesome venue. Great food. You're going to be there. Shout out to Chef Bruce. You're going to be there uh, to do an auditory abduction mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, before Adima. Yeah, we're opening for a band called Adima. Or Adima. Uh, I'm going to let you run yeah, that one. Yeah, right? <laughs> By the way, I do ha- remember them from if when they, I was a kid. If they happen to ask, you know, hey, anybody here we should do an interview with, you know. Just throw them my way. Room yeah. six. By the way, cheesy, cheesy plug here. <clears throat> if you want to be on the channel, whether reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using email address or the room six social media link down in the description. 
The Rune 6 social media link is also where you can find merch like this and others. Also, you can find my Patreon page link and a couple of my CDs. I don't know what you're pointing to. We don't know either. We're just trying to help you out. I got confused. There's the I'm bell. Sorry. Hit the bell. Hit the bell and that's the like button. button. That's that's the bell's over there. Well, that's if you want to subscribe, and it really does. It does make a difference. You. If you like a YouTuber, ring the bell. You don't even have. You can choose the notification option that says no notifications. I'd be okay with that. All YouTube cares about mm-hmm. is subscribers. Exactly. If you're in the greater Clark County area, this is the guy you want to know about local music. Wow. Because wow. we're not supposed to say that word. You know the word we're not supposed to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clark County counts. But I'm not in Clark County. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah. Sorry, you know. sorry. It's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's you know, right government on. loose. Nice. So that show with um, Adima at Soul mm-hmm. Belly is November 13th. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then December 7th is uh, at the usual place you're opening for Quar. Good luck. Q-U-O-R. Yeah. We're going to go with Quar. I'll put a picture on screen. <laughs> Figure it out. <laughs> um, yeah, anyway. So... I hope to be at one of those at least. We did a really nice review of our last show. I really appreciate that yeah. last one. I do the best. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, well, not our last show, but yeah. Yeah, the Mastiff. The Mastiff. Yeah, Mastiff. Yeah, yeah. That's, that was my first, uh, second time at the space, actually. What do you think of that location? Uh, as a, as I a, love it. As a person who attends shows. Well, we were talking off camera about, um, again, if you're a Room 6 you you probably know about the Room 6 uh, Rocks summer showcase I did at Chiba Hut. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Chiba Hut temporarily was not doing live music. I, apparently, they're back to doing it. Okay. However, I may be moving it to the space uh, for the next one because it's indoors. So, mm-hmm. I love the space. I, I like all they have to offer. Um, I didn't once feel like I was at all inconvenienced by anything. Right. Whereas, a show that we were talking about off camera that I was at recently... Yeah. <laughs> the head of security made things miserable for everybody. Just he was a dick to everybody. No. <laughs> so sorry. But um pardon my English. Mm. But the other thing is it just um Would you like a sticker? Hey, just, thanks. I mean yes. Just, just so you feel better. I, I, you seem very upset I appreciate it. So. But yeah, no, I I just wanna I feel like if you're gonna put on a show you know, mm-hmm. make people want to be there. Mm-hmm. Don't make it uh, like, you know, this same show, just to rail a bit. Literally, no ins and outs. Yeah. Like you're inside the whole time. You're, or you're in that little outdoor patio area. Huh. Yeah. And I'm like, where was this? I, I, uh, it's at the place that you got a call about. He got a call about. Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, I didn't know that. I was like, really? Well, you got the money. What's the problem? But the <laughs> a, problem was, put a stamp. It was literally an hour and a half before the show. Mm-hmm. People were showing up. There was a line, really, all the way down into the parking lot for if you have tickets. If you didn't have tickets, there was a whole other line, and wow. the whole way they did it was a shit show. Mm. And, but. That that rankled me a little bit. It was like, really, mm-hmm. really, I can't go to my car, step outside to you know, Smoke whatever, joint, whatever, whatever, yeah, whatever you yeah. want to do. But it was yeah, it was crazy crowded. I had fun getting photos and videos of that show. Yeah, but I digress. Well, but, you know, you can do in a place like that. You can do rails in a bathroom. So oh, moving on. totally okay. Sweet sweet cocaine. Just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't do too, <laughs> don't do drugs. Cocaine. Not me. He just we loves don't. Yeah, yeah, I just love this one. Oh hey. Oh, we have this. Oh, forgot. Oh, Magically, yes. Um, I, okay, Andy, I, a toast to the viewers, to to the fans, to the truth, and here's to you, and here's to me, and if ever we should disagree, then to hell with you, and here's to me. Mm. <laughs> clink, clink. Salud. That's my glass. Clink, touch clink, 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 clink. Oh yeah, I always forget about the down part. I just drink it. As most of my uh, female friends like to say, you always forget about going down. <laughs> Anywho, it's a little yeah. Is this an R-rated uh, show? No. Mm-hmm. I mean, yes. Uh, cool. We don't need <laughs> so. Always wanted to do that. <laughs> so, oh, thanks. But he See, sees it. He sees it. It's like a crop circle. So you get it. It's the worst crop circle ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's all angles. It's all angles. That's yeah. the middle. Hey, listen. So, I didn't design it. This guy. You got to talk to this guy. Right? Anyway. 
a couple more questions that we're done. Yeah, let's do it. And then stick around because we're going to be seeing a music video from them. Uh, do we know what music video it is yet? We are. We're going to be premiering. Actually, not premiering. No. We were I was like, really? <laughs> uh, we have a video for a song called Slip Space. Slip Space. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Sticking with the space thing. Oh, that's that's what we do. Wait, wait. Okay, we can talk about We can talk about space. Space is I know. I just don't bring up... Uh, I mean, you know. Not, name. not Steve. Not Steve. Not the other, Steve. The other most famous name. Yes, so... Actually, it's Kevin. So... <laughs> Shit! Yeah. Riff! God, dude. Come on, man. I can't take this guy anymore. Sorry. Give, give me the Sorry. shot back. Sorry. Give it back. Spit it out. Spit it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't want it. Yeah, that way. No, I want it the other way. Oh. Interview's going great. So, a uh, couple more questions, like I said. And... I'm going to ask a, a question that all musicians hate to get. Mm. And this is my this is How my big is your penis? No. Oh, okay. I know that. Anyway. <laughs> this is my one usual interview question, and I apologize in advance. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How would you define your band's musical style? Damn it. Oh, 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 damn it. it. Come on. I this question. I yes. so didn't see it coming. <laughs> Elevator pitch, baby. Go. <laughs> all right. What's Jax. It like, uh, Jax, this is all about you. It was like... Auditory uh, abductions? <laughs> the, the whole tallest tower with the unicorn and the fuzzy penguin thing. You oh, know, I just... I, I, unfortunately, I threw the thing over there. All right, well... <laughs> uh, I, <laughs> are you asking how we, how we sound? What it, how would, if someone said, oh, hey, what's your band sound like? Man, that we've was, gotten a lot. We've, like... A plethora of I can tell you the bands. stuff that people have, have given us. I mean, what is our intent? Sci sci Sci-fi rock, I think... Covers a lot of it. We but, call it sci-fi hard rock, but but I think that's well, a lot of the the your sci-fi rock in your backstory and your your stage thing, right? Mm -hmm. it, not so much like here's a whole bunch of phaser, here's a whole bunch of flange. No, 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 no it's not all like it's not like Star Warsy. Pew pew pew. Well, we're nothing like that. Because that's, uh, that's sci-fi core. core. That's not it's not sci-fi hard rock. Sci-fi core is what we call it. Yeah, um, which was actually a term that was a tribute to us. Through uh, Pulsar. Pulsar. Uh, Shout out Pulsar. Hey, to, uh, Patrick. He said he's been on the channel. Patrick oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. quoted us as that, so we yeah, went with it. But, uh, roll with it. Yeah. Listen to people. <laughs> I guess you could say what we are. Mm hmm. Jeez, oh, that's tough. <laughs> Is a band with lots of influences in the hard rock category. Kohi, you mentioned them at the beginning. I was yeah. honored that you even thought of that because we didn't tell you to say that. Well, no, but listen, you said listening, to, listen to your stuff. Reading your stuff, or you know, reading, researching you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was immediately struck with Kohi and the hair, but also Kohi and Cambria. <laughs> that was not intentional. We no, no, but I was just like, you've you've got this mythos, mm -hmm. and Kohi and Cambria, they, that's whole, their whole thing. Like it's every album is practically its own comic book, you know. Right. So, I interesting enough, we did not decide on that concept through Kohi. The guy that came down to us, huh? to from us, the who? Oh, I'm we sorry. Can't say it. We can't say. It. Mother Earth came down to us from the heavens and said, Vagina. You shall <laughs> spread the word spread. through sci fi core. Exactly. Yeah, listen, I wasn't going to go there. But, hey, if you want to go there, that's fine with me. So, uh, but yes, no, we, uh, we are trying to spread the word. We're trying to bring rock back because we think it's been a while since rock has been a thing, right? It's been yeah, the, it's the thing. The thing. Well, we know it's coming back around again. Yeah. So does. She who shall not be named, <laughs> uh, and she is she knows time. She's aware that thing. All things happen in, in cycles. circular motion. In, in circular it's motion. very true. I've subscribed to this. Uh, I've subscribed to this theory for a while, and I've actually. I'm proud to say I have a 14 year old kid. I've managed to kind of like try to in, push this on my child and say, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. life is fair. Unfortunately. Mm. For every good day, there's a bad day. For every bad day, there is a good day. It's all balance. You just gotta, all things in balance. Yeah. Now, that, that being said, that's a gross misgeneralization because there are certain unfortunate things in life where you're just like, oh, okay, uh, you're a serial killer victim. That's no coming back. Yeah. <laughs> that's a yeah. bad day. Yeah. Or, oh, you won the lottery. That's a whole good, bunch of good days. Do you ever yeah. wonder, though? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go deep here. I try not to. Do you ever wonder though that like sometimes good. like I swear I think this sometimes mm -hmm. that we are we're all living in our own um, timeline uh, simulation simulated reality yes uh, where exactly all right Elon Musk yes no, well so, I mean eh, but like okay there's these serial killers so that poor victim over there 
but in my universe, that didn't actually happen. Oh, so you're thinking quantum. Yes. Where, yes. Where, in my perception, it happened, but in reality, it never actually yeah. happened. I mean, it, it was for my benefit of learning about the greater things well, of life. Well, quantum physics says that in a, given a certain set of circumstances, my finger will go through this island. Correct. You know, it, it, that the, I'll somehow so, manage to... Do it, Jax. Do it. Ah! He's fucking lost. I wish I bet But you him. landed it. You, la- you landed it. I'm just you glad you didn't it. go for it. <laughs> uh, uh, Thank God he didn't break his fingers. We need that, need that finger. That is the magical base. Yeah, you don't right need there. you don't need all your fingers to drum. Hey. No, you don't. You just need. Uh, you don't need. You don't need. I just I just use my head. Well, it depends. Yeah, what it depends what band we're talking about. <laughs> like Nirvana, Dave Grohl probably didn't need all his fingers. Right. No, but, but Foo Fighters. Oh, uh, tangent. Did you see that 23 minute long thing called Play that Dave Grohl did? Yes! I. You're, who told me about this? Was it you? No. Mm-hmm. Somebody told I doubt me it, and but, I watched it. But yeah. It is insane. If you ever want to feel like you're not doing enough as a musician, but you also want to be just. <laughs> yeah, if you want to feel wholesomely in it. Right. Because <laughs> as a human being. Every single instrument he played on that was done in a take. Now, it wasn't the first take. take. Right. He would get. He, no, no, there, no, there's no, no. Literally, he there's got like 17 minutes in, and he's like, I fucked it up. We got to yeah, start like, all over again. It was a yeah. 24 minute track or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he was. plays he every played all the instruments. Thing, like, even the tambourine. Like, he's just playing everything. So and cool. It, and so he plays cool. three different drum sets in d- during the song. Yeah, yeah. Wow. He, like, you have to watch this if you haven't seen it. Dude, yeah. so cool. It's called watch Play, it. Dave Grohl. And he's written this thing that somehow it's. And it, it, every time he goes to a drum set. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. Every time he goes to a drum set. Changes, mm-hmm. and then he brings it back. But but it's just, I what I love is that the video for it is just a bunch of him yes. in the same room, <laughs> <laughs> and he's dressed different. Every it's single one of them is dressed so, different. It's so interesting. And then he's looking yeah. at himself, going, "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> All right, we will never do that. But I digress. Yeah. Sorry, I did say I have a couple questions left. Did you have actual questions? I did. Oh, mm. okay. uh, I'm not going to ask the gear question because we could be here forever. Yeah. Because they, very if you haven't seen their show, well, I'm going to put a picture now. Yeah, they, they've got that going on on stage, aside from just the usual band instruments. So, yeah. But what I did want to say was, um, how did you meet? Oh. Because I know you from a previous incarnation, but I was wondering, you two were in a thing together. Yeah. We're in Shadow of the Cloud, or, uh. Shut the glass. Shut the glass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, serious. That's a. Yeah. We might change your name. Shut the glass. glass. <laughs> but shut the glass. Seen them. Feminism. Anyway. Well, the girl. But, but how, did, how, did, how did this become a thing? Uh, well, we were in. How did, in st- we were in stereo glass for a while. Mm-hmm. Uh, Who's we? It was Riff, myself, a uh, good friend Two Shannon, mm-hmm. and another good friend Lyle. Um, that band kind of split up, uh, but before we split up, our drummer had left, and mm-hmm. we put out a call, and Whiskey answered it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Good man. As I always do. I answer the call when the bat signal goes in the sun, in the sky. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Although the, the signal is The STM goes in the sky. <laughs> Guess who shows up? Me, baby. Me. And then... Uh, now look, I like cheese as much as the next guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only ham in this kitchen, bud. <laughs> we put out an ad for for a drummer and and uh, must like whiskey. <laughs> yeah, must like whiskey. Mm-hmm. And sure enough, he said uh, he loves whiskey. And uh, mm-hmm. we tried to look for a vocalist for a while, mm-hmm. and that didn't happen. And uh, whiskey was like, "Jax, you should just do it." And I said, "No." And then a year later, after persistent, I, let's just be clear. I said he should sing. Mm-hmm. Then he said no. <laughs> so, no. You own it, man. No, I, seriously, you, you do a really good job of it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And um, and shout out to Jax because at the same show that they're performing at, he's not hanging out in the back room. He's not hanging out in the green room. He is front row on the barricade, head banging to every, every band. Every band that exists. Show and, the film. <laughs> yes. Actually, I bet you have pictures. It's you funny you say that. Cut to the film. <laughs> Because I was filming, I was like, "Dink!" Yes, and I did at the time. I didn't know that you were in the band. Oh <laughs> that, no! This was um, this was at um, a different show. I first saw you. Oh okay. Because then I saw you at a massive thing, and I was like, "Hey, yeah, um, yeah. was it you, massive at the uh, bar?" 
No, no, no. This was at the space. It was, oh, okay. it was my second time at the space seeing you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, my first oh. time at the space was... Um, Madzilla. Yes! Mm-hmm. Madzilla, yes, 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 yes. He, yes. We I, I'm, I'm good friends with David. And, Shout um, out, David. And, yeah, David. Madzilla, Madzilla's been on the channel, and... Um, I see David every Sunday at Soul Belly because he runs sound at Soul Belly Barbecue. Which, when I walked in the first time to live stream, I'm like, what are you doing here? And he's got a shirt on that says, like, be kind, eat barbecue or whatever. And I'm like, you're not wearing black. <laughs> but it's really cool. I, I, I keep threatening him every so often, uh, either because, like, we're short on performers or whatever, Hal will ask me to get up and do some songs because, you know, I, I'm a songwriter too. Hmm. And I keep threatening David. I'm like, I'm going to learn asphyxiating cries by <laughs> on acoustic. <laughs> do it. <laughs> asphyxiating cries. Anyway. We, we had a great idea. Let me tell you. Let me run this idea. Do it. tell. And tell me what you think. So what we thought would be a cool idea to bring Vegas together as a hard rock community specifically. Or metal. Okay. Because pop doesn't need any Country promotion. or western. Yeah. They don't need any promotion. <laughs> but here's an idea. We like this idea. But finding the time is the question. What if bands in Vegas covered each other's songs and then made videos of them? That's been a. Th- I mean, it has. I, I know it's been put out like like splits or, or just you know albums have been put out where people do that. I'm talking just local community though. Right, right. No. 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 I get it. Like the entire show is our entire set is them. Well, no, no, not a whole set, but like let's say we record mm-hmm. Mastiff's something something. Oh, and so we record it, mm-hmm. put it out, and we do like a Vegas re- right. Covers each other's Shadow of the Moon does Mastiff and yeah. Godzilla does Dollheads and blah 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 blah. You know, right. whatever. Pick a song. I, I had for how interesting would that be? For years, I've had the same thought where I would love to be on a bill where the opening band plays their set, mm-hmm. the last song is a cover of the with, next band song with like the singer from the oh, next act, that's and then a good idea and too. then the next act plays and etc. Or you know, with the guitarist or whatever, but like mm-hmm. it's a good it, and it's it's almost seamless transition. God, that's that's really the worst thing part about a live show. It's break in between. Yeah, I mean, granted, we got to go to the bathroom, we got to buy more drinks, we got to you know mm-hmm. upload our whatever. Right. But yeah, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's um, not bad. At, at, at my at my room, something here. What I do, the closest thing I can do to that is at my room six uh, showcases. Is that I will get up with my acoustic and I'll play in between, which gives me an opportunity. Oh, oh wow! Or no, that's for you. No, no, it's you. Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna. I'm sticking here though. Okay, cool. So anyway, what I'll what I'll do is, um, while whatever needs to happen is going on, I'll just be there, shout out sponsors and and you know playing my own exactly. stuff. Exactly. It's also my chance to get my yayas out. I admit, sure, you sure, know, sure. I, I don't really get to play my stuff that much, um, and it also. There's no house music. There's no downtime because mm-hmm. I'm live streaming it. How, YouTube hates live or house music. Oh, absolutely. Copyright claim. Copyright claim. So, <laughs> right. all right. <laughs> exactly. Last question. You made it. Yay. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Get back. Get back in your room. Go back Uh-oh. in your room. Uh-oh. A research team. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> what the heck? You can't take these guys anywhere. <sighs> Last question. You Sorry, you got Freddie's number. Uh, we, uh, Freddie can take care of this for you. Oh, yeah. Orbital strike. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, I serious, seriously though, last question. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. let's pretend. I, this is a question I ask of all my prey. Uh-oh. <laughs> let's pretend we're talking to little you, Ooh. and I mean the little you. For, it started off with what's your earliest musical influence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now then, what is one thing you wish someone had told you when you said, "I want to do that," about? Being, you know, doing music. Let's talk to the new musicians out there. Wow. It's expensive. Ha! <laughs> that is the first time somebody said that in over it's three expensive. years. It's expensive. And you don't get paid. Expensive. You don't. You really don't. You make zero money. Well, you persistence. You, yeah. You ever heard the old joke about... I'm sure you've heard this. Uh, about when you're, when you're teaching your kids... Mm-hmm. I guess, or whatever. But like, when you're... Jeez, I'm going to fuck this up. I apologize. I'm going to bleep this up. But the idea is... What's worse? Getting your your kids getting into drugs or being becoming musicians? Well... 100% if, musicians. If they become musicians, they don't have any money for drugs. Yes, that's true. However, they ha- they're they broke because they spend all their money on instruments for the rest of their life. Now, we say that, of course, but we know, unfortunately, way too many... Really talented celebrity musicians that died way too young because of what? 
drugs. drugs. Yes. And I always have subscribed to the fact of the drugs are not there because of any sort of like, I can't cope with life. It's because they're trying to chase the high that you get from when the end of your, you know, your, the end of your show mm-hmm. and the crowd mm-hmm. and just, you're like, oh, and now I got to go back to real life. There's a hundred percent truth in the, the high you get from performing live mm-hmm. is real. Yep. But there's also a high in achieving goals that you set for yourself that mu- musicians often do. So like if, let's say you're some celebrity that makes it to the top. Mm-hmm. There's what's left to achieve. And this is where I think people go crazy. And you get into drugs because what else is there? Like, they've already... I can see that. They're or whatever. Yeah. And, they, and they play anywhere they want. And they sell out blah, blah, blah. It's right? like, I'm bored. I, I, I'm bored. What else over? is there? Yeah. Right? yeah. And then they fucking lose their minds. Kill themselves on drugs. Whatever the case may be. Now, granted, else. some of that, some of that reason is because... They are lacking certain things they need, certain skills, uh, not skills, certain developmental things that you need in order to form relationships. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know, because if you're in a loving relationship with someone, unless they are also into drugs, they're generally going to not let you get into drugs. Right. Well, sure, sure. But there's there's a meaning to that. It's, yeah, yeah. it's the meaningfulness of the relationship that's important. Right. Not that uh, that steers you. Not specifically out of drugs, but you have some other thing well, to grab. That's what I mean. Is like you're like, well, if, when I do this, pot or whatever. whatever it is. And granted, pot is the weakest, least, least of the yeah, issues. <laughs> as least of the issues. But we all must agree that pot is not exactly a productivity drug. No, for <laughs> you sure. know, speed. Definitely it can not be creative. creative. Yes, right. but, but it's but not but like speed. Productive. You get speed, meth. You get stuff done. Oh my yeah. god. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah. Well. <laughs> here's the thing if you're having dinner by choice here's the thing so what happened was so here's the thing if you're having dinner at 7-Eleven <laughs> it's roller food mm-hmm. you don't have someone in your life that loves you right yeah <laughs> you need to rethink things All I right. would argue Zach loves 7-Eleven who? Jax loves 7-Eleven uh taquitos really? Dogs. he loves all the 7-Eleven food I do. Is that the secret? That is how Check he keeps... His, look, at this, yeah. look at the abs on this yeah. guy. Don't turn sideways. You'll fall down the it's track. It's all He's about like, 7-Eleven taquitos. That is the answer to this body right here. And here I am eating home-cooked meals by someone who loves me. Oh, oh. sicker. Yeah, thanks. So anyway, just want to say... Uh, is it, is it, did it stay up? Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, just cool. want to say thanks for watching. Stick around for the music video of Slipstream. Space. And definitely check out their link down in the description. Uh, we'll, after the music video, we'll see you for the outro. So uh, temporarily say goodbye. See ya. Slip space. Slip space. Hey. Space.
I want to thank my guests for coming on the show. It was a great interview, an awesome music video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you want to be on the channel, like I said, hit me up down in the description using my email address or the Room 6 social media link. Um, other than that, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe, you know what to do. Click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6. Say goodbye, guys. Laters! Ba-da-ba-ba-da-ba. Ba! There's always one.